Hey guys, Bjergsen here from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion's guide to Varus. I think Varus in solo queue is a pretty strong champion because he has a very easy win condition. All you really have to do is Varus is when you hit your power spike and you're really strong in terms of poke, you tell your team to group mid or group around objective. There's not a whole lot of strategy where you have to split push or do anything crazy like that. You just group up in one lane, you push down towers, and you push down objectives using poke. He has a lot of really good matchups. The hard ones are really assassin champions like the block that can get onto him or set up ganks or playing against very dive heavy champions like Gragas and all star so if you don't see a lot of dive heavy champions he usually does well against mid-range or long-range champions mid because he outpokes almost any champion mid lane. Varus in lane is very skill shot reliant if you end up hitting a lot of your Q's you're most likely going to win the lane if you miss a lot you're most likely going to lose the lane I'd say he plays a lot like Xerath where you're very reliant on hitting your Q poke and very good at setting up ganks using your stun which is your ultimate on Varus so the way I like to play him is I play fairly aggressive using flask in the early game and just consistently poking. Uh, you can use the side brushes because your arrow and Q has such a long range that you can usually shoot them from the side brushes when they walk up to CS and get a free hit from there. But once they get a bit lower, maybe around 50%, you can call for your jungler and you can set up the gank with the ultimate. That's the overall game plan for Varus is poke them down and once they're vulnerable, you throw out your ultimate and look for the kill. In team fights with Varus, uh, generally before a team fight, you already want to have the team fight set up and you want to have people be poked because Varus is not as good as other mid lane champions if you go straight up 5v5 and team fight. You want to have some poke in before the fight and you want to have them be somewhat chunk before the fight initiates or you want to initiate on your turns where you get a great ult and you pick someone off. So you can either play him more as a pick based champion where you use the ult to get an instant kill or set up a good AoE or you use him to just poke down the back line so they're unable to do damage. Using Varus ult in lane is fairly simple because you can use it when they're going up for a spell or up for a creep. But using it for initiating is a lot harder and you want to really be careful on when you're using this spell because when your ult is down you're going to be a lot more vulnerable to people diving you and it has a fairly long cooldown so it's going to be down for a while. So make sure you know exactly when you're using it and why you're using it and trying to get the engage is usually not the easiest thing. It's more reliable if your teammate sets up a CC first and you follow it up with your ult to make them stay rooted for a long time. The runes that run on Varus are Armor Pen Reds, AD Quins, HP Scaling Yellows, and CDR Scaling Blues. I like to go Armor Pen and AD just for the flat poke. You can go Attack Speed if you prefer playing it as a bit more of an auto attacker and pusher, but to me Varus is the poke champion and Armor Pen and AD just makes him so much more pokey. Uh, CDR Scaling is obviously to have your Q up more often, it's your main way of poking and doing damage throughout the game, so the more often it's up, the stronger you're going to be. HP scaling is a very standard blue that's good against pretty much all magic damage matchups, but if you're against a physical damage mid, you can run flat armor instead. For masteries on Varus, I like to go 2190. Uh, even though the build and overall setup is very cooldown reduction focused, I go attack speed over cooldown reduction because with the runes and with the build, you'll end up at 40% cooldown reduction anyway, and the attack speed helps you a lot in the early game by pushing and trading. So go for the attack speed, and after that, pretty much go for everything physical damage and AD as you can. I still like to go Frenzy because I go Yomus at some point in the game, even though it is a very low percent crit chance. If you get that crit and get extra attack speed for 3 seconds, I think the payoff is good for one mastery point. 9 defense is obviously just to make you more tanky overall, and you are a fairly squishy poke champion, so the extra help health helps out a lot. For Varus, I either start Q or W at level 1. Q against ranged matchups since it helps you push and harass at level 1. If you're against melee matchups, I go W because it helps you push early and it just increases a flat magic damage on each auto attack and as you get level 2 against melee champions you're likely going to have a couple of hits on them so you'll have a couple of stacks and as you get level 2 you can instantly proc it with your Q which gives a very nice trade after that you want to get another level in your Q and then a level in the spell that you haven't leveled up yet after that you want to max Q and the E and the W Q and E are just your main harass spells and E helps with disengaging as well for summoners on Varus, he is a poke champion, so you want to be going for a defensive summoner. There's a lot of different choices you can make. Uh, you can go either Cleanse. If they have very hard CC, you have champions like Annie, Sejuani, Ash. Cleanse is going to be very useful. You can go Heal. Uh, I usually go Heal if I expect the enemy to go for another uh, defensive summoner, like Cleanse or Barrier, because they won't be able to ignite and reduce your healing. Barrier, if you're against a very bursty champion, Syndra, LeBlanc, Zed, Barrier helps out a lot. And um, if you want to be slightly more greedy against another passive champion like Ziggs, you can't go Ghost. Ghost pays off very well in team fights, but overall, summoners are really personal preference and what you prefer in the situations, but I definitely say to go for a defensive summoner as well. For Varus, I like to start with either Flask or Doran's Blade. I usually start Flask in pretty much every matchup, but if you prefer Doran's Blade, it's also a very viable option. 
Faustus gives you a lot of mana regen early and it helps you spam and it helps you build up to your tier of the goddess right away. After your tier, you want to be going either into Brutalizer or into Mana Mune. Varus has a very hard time stacking tier or stacking Mana Mune. So getting Mana Mune where you can stack on your auto attacks instead of just your spells helps you reach your mana a lot earlier. Uh, your core items are going to be Mana Mune, Brutalizer, and Last Whisper with Pool Reduction Boots just for the max amount of flat damage, armor pen for the poke. Um, after those items, I usually end up going Yomus because the attack speed and the active just helps you do more consistent damage in a fight rather than just poke. After the Yomus, you can build into a couple different things. You can go something like Hex Drinker, Demol, Mavordius if you need magic assist. Uh, you can go BT if you need the lifesteal and the shield. And you can go into an IE if you just want the flat damage output. Um, but in the end, you just, after that, you want to be building something like damage or very defensive oriented, much like any other ADK. On Varus for the Trinket, I like to just stay with the War Trinket and upgrade it pretty much as soon as I can around level 9. Because Varus is a champion that is very immobile and very easy to flank and come up to if you come from the side. So having vision control, especially around mid on the sides, is very important for Varus. And in solo queue, you can't really always rely on your teammates to get the wards for you. So having the wards from the War Trinket definitely helps out. So if you're safe, if you have vision of where they are, you're going to be a lot easier for you to poke and walk up to the lane and push aggressively into tower. Thanks for watching this guide on mid lane Varus. You can check out more guides at lawclass.com. Akro is a really strong champion in solo queue, especially since he's been released not too long ago. So not everyone really knows about all his skills and how they work exactly. So a lot of pressure. You can play super aggressive and zone people and even look for kills with Urgot since he does have a surprising amount of damage if you land the E. So.